Okay, we're out here with the frogs tonight. You can hear them out there in the darkness. Uh, had a friend of ours with no AC. In fact, Eddie, uh, this is the reason why I had to leave so abruptly. Uh, we have our liquid pressure, about 150, it's hard to see. Uh, true suction pressure, around 130 or so. Uh, What's happening is the unit is shutting on and off real fast. Coming on, cutting off. And what it is, the low pressure switch is taking it out because what I think is the TXV is failing and shutting off refrigerant flow to the evaporator. So I'm going to turn it on and you're going to see what I mean. Alright, disconnect on. So liquid pressure staying steady. Okay, suction pressure. This is true suction. Bottoming out. Being pumped down. Pumping down all the way. And we're going to hit the low pressure switch and then cut off. Off and on, off and on. So we'll pull the power. Because we don't want that to continue. And pull the power. Suction pressure is all the way down. Of course, we're going to kind of prove it's a TXV by putting it into heat and running it that way. And here we go. Solenoid coil on the reversing valve. It's going to equalize. There's our pressure equalizing. All right. Tuck it away there. Now we can turn it on in heat and see if we can maintain a true suction pressure uh, as it bypasses the TXV. running in heat, bypassing the TXV, and we have normal operation. See, it's going up a little bit. It is a little warm in the house, so the suction pressure would be a little bit higher. Because we're over 80 degrees in the house, so we're going to be rocking and rolling with our temperatures. So, there we go. Hot gas in. Hot gas inside. Going back out to the compressor. So we're rocking and rolling because it's 85. So uh, we're going to shut it down and uh, try to change the TXV. 